Welcome to Swiss Cheese Trails. I am above Lucarno. This is the Lago Maggiora. We're looking south toward Italy and we're having some local Ticino cheese. Follow me, Swiss Cheese Trails, and I'm exploring the entirety of Switzerland in 360 video. All right, so I'm taking the hike from the chairlift down to the gondola and uh, you really go pretty far to the east. Uh, in the process though, you got some great views, including this parasailer. Uh, this has got to be a, uh, like a easy or a blue uh, ski trail. There's really no turns, it's just going down. And I guess they got the lattice work uh, so they can get a 4x4 motorcycle up here for supplies. It looks like they're building one or two little chalets, uh, ski chalets up there. Then we keep going around and we're going to end up in Bellanzona. <laughs> Bellanzona is 20 kilometers from down there. So I don't want to be walking to Bellanzona today. Look at this. Oh, I love these hikes. So much unexpected. And look at how beautiful that is. All these people out here just hanging out on that meadow. Good stuff. See All right, I've just come down off of the gondola. And this is where the Madonna de Sasso begins. So, yeah, I'll spin the camera around here. And you can start to see how special this place is. It goes down in the courtyards and they've got uh, 12 stations. They all just uh, keep going down the hill. <laughs> it's really pretty extraordinary piece of property. The Lucarno Gold Coast is up above us. Some of the homes that you pass over on the gondola are really extraordinary. Oh, there's the funicular. So the funicular goes down and this is all to be explored. Welcome back. I'm uh, taking a hike down from the Madonna de Sasso or the bottom of the gondola. And when you get off the gondola, you want to point down toward the center of Lucan Lucarno. Um, in this path, you go the opposite direction. You kind of go back up a little bit. And there's a main road that you walk along and it brings you down to a side road that, that eventually gets you to like private homes and at the end of the private homes there's this which is eventually going to be a path through the forest so there is the Ascana church tower that I'm headed for I have two hours to get there so I shouldn't have any problem getting over there in two hours um, so let's see what we have here what a great view, man. I'd love to, love to live in these. Whew. Now, the trick about this path is the funicular going into Locarno kind of goes the opposite direction, right? It's going to go to the far side of the delta. So I don't want to do that. But there are only three bridges over the river, so I have to shortcut the delta and do it at a place where I'm going to get over the river. And this is certainly dicey. <laughs> I got this idea way up at the top of the gondola. There was a regional map as a poster board. I took a photo and uh, 
I'm trying to follow it. This is supposed to be a known yikes route. So this is the thing about uh, Ticino. Everything is very steep. And uh, this is kind of spooky. I can hear noises of local creatures. Oh. So I guess I'm happy I'm still talking. I mean, clearly this is a trail of sorts. You don't come across steps in the middle of a forest. Holy cow. <laughs> the explorer is going strong. Well, I'll say now, uh, you got to tune in tomorrow. Man, there are just critters here. Of course, if I were a critter, this is where I would be. But you'll have to tune in tomorrow. Let's see if I made it. I wonder how many people go through here a day. It's got to be a couple because there are no spider webs that are crisscrossing. And those spiders don't take very long to make new webs. This is, you know what I gotta say? I've done a, a, a number of hikes in the Ticino area. Uh, this is absolutely not surprising. I mean, you can see how steep this is. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera away so I can concentrate on this slope and uh, tune in tomorrow, see if I make it. Well, I made it. That's the path and uh, sure enough, there are two people coming up as I exited. I don't know what this thing is. It's video surveillance. It's, I assume, water, something like that. Electricity. Uh, I'm not really sure. Oh, we got a great view here. First of all, love these pools. How do I get a place with a pool? Um, oh, there's a couple more. We got a great church down here. No idea what that is, but absolutely would have not gotten that. The uh, road, the bridge we need to cross is straight ahead. Um, from there, I know where I am. That's where we went the very first day to change buses. There's a dinner there. Supposedly the laundry, but we gotta. I was not able to find that. But I've been to that corner across the bridge almost every day. And then it's about 20 minutes back. So, I'm feeling good. I'm glad we did this. It's not quite over yet, but I think it's safe to say that I'm going to make it. So, thanks for tuning into this segment. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to divvy these up. Of course, by the time you get to this point, I've already made that decision. But thank you for following along in our Lucarno uh, escapades. And, um, yeah, we'll see what uh, the next series brings. I'm scheduled to go to the 007 Dam. Um, I point that way. That's uh, probably up this way and that. But, um, and then uh, the roller coaster. So I'm going to hopefully do the roller coaster tomorrow. And then uh, bike through the valley separately. And then bike to the dam. Maybe that'll be, um, that'll be a Sunday. So... Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this view. I sure have. Uh, from all different altitudes. Talk to you soon.